Welcome back, everyone. We are here live at MegaCon Orlando. I am sitting with the IWGP Women's Champion, mm -hmm. Mercedes Vernado, yes. a.k.a. Mercedes Monet. Let's go. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Where else but whatnot would I have an opportunity to sit down with the champ herself? And, of course, we're bringing the con home to you. Be sure to check out the Buy It Now and the auction as they're going to be absolutely loaded. I actually got think a lot of the pops may have been gone already, but there's a lot of other great items in there. We've got some Black Series figures. We've got some of those comics that are absolutely hot. You're going to be able to see those right now. We've got signed portraits. We're probably going to do a giveaway or two, but we are here. Of course, again, look, Sana in hey. person with Mercedes and Ryu sitting right here in between us. Ryu's He's chilling. chilling. He's chilling. He's, He's chilling. chilling. Like a right He's now. chilling. In case you didn't know what's happening right over here, you know, I went to the jewel up, got myself a nice big boy watch. I'm just kidding. This is the <laughs> the, the belt itself. Yeah, it is real, by the way. I imagine. Well, you know what I'm saying? That'll look. Yeah. That's look at her is. Look at her is. You know, hey. keep it. Keep it. So we're going to be doing a whole bunch of stuff. We're going to be talking. We're going to be signing. We're going to get you guys the items that you're looking for because, again, where else but whatnot would you be able to get your hands on items signed by Mercedes herself? Mercedes, what's good? Talk to me. How you feeling? How's the con season treating you? Um, it's, it's good money. It's good you know, money. It's, it's a nice little bag. It I love is. doing cons because you can right. meet so many fans from all different parts of different states. But yep. they also travel from different states just to meet you. Yep. I've met so many of the same people, which is yeah. really, really cool that they come and bring all these cool items that some things I haven't even seen before. There's yeah. a lot of Star Wars stuff that I haven't seen. Um, sometimes they bring me my wrestling stuff that I've never seen. So it's really cool just to meet fans and seeing, um, you know, character Everybody. stuff that you don't get to see very often in yeah. person. So it's awesome. Now, do you feel like your signature game has improved over the con season as you continue to sign well, hundreds of items? You know, I'm a woman with very, very many, many names. So yes. it, it actually gets a little complicated when I'm like, okay, that's a Cosca figure, so I signed it this way. That's Mercedes Bernardo, so I got to sign it like that. That's Mercedes Monet. Yeah. That's the uh, old school, you know, who, right. the boss. Right. Um, so there's many, many different forms. So sometimes I got to go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I know yeah, which yeah, one yeah. I have to be today. This is my taxes. I got to sign it with my government name. Exactly. I got you. I feel exactly you. I'm a, that. I'm a man of many names myself, so, you know, but right now I go by the one. Jay Stash sitting here live with Mercedes Bernardo, mm -hmm. also Mercedes Monet. You already know. Like I said, the champ, she's here. We're going to talk. Of course, we got to kick it off. Mandalorian. I mean, season three is absolutely wild right now. Mm -hmm. But before that, I got to ask you, you get the call to be on the show. Yes. You get to see the armor. What's the feeling like when you see that armor for the first time? Oh, my God. So the first time they showed me like um, an artwork piece of what they wanted to see me in. Okay. And I was like, whoa, what yeah. the heck? And then when I actually went on set to um, try on the costume and everything, I just couldn't believe it because I felt like an, a legit superhero. I yeah. was like, this is real. This is not fake. This is not Halloween. This is like a custom right. fit for me and my body. And there's, you know, there's some that were like a little bit big and they took yeah. it in. It was like so fit for me. Katie says so something awesome. about it being like a laser measurement or like, uh, the, the, you know, you get down and they get all the measurements. They get especially. everything, they get especially everything. for the helmet too. Like they yeah. have to scan your whole head, make sure it fits perfectly for you. Damn. Um, it was so legit that I was just like, oh my God, I wish I could take this home, but I know. You know, I ain't trying to get sued or killed. So. <laughs> right. She doesn't have this big glass container in her living room. <laughs> no, right next no. To it. It's the title belt and then it's her armor from the Mandalorian. Exactly. In the living room. So we know that's not what it is, but you, I see the smile from ear to ear when you talk about that moment and you talk about being a superhero. What does that mean for you, where you came from, of course, being an example to, you know, young women and women everywhere else? I mean, for me, being a professional wrestler is being a superhero is being a superwoman but now being part of a franchise that people love so much yeah. the star wars franchise there's nothing bigger than that the star only wars thing that's fans. bigger than that is star trek and wrestling you know but i'm part of wow two of the biggest in the world yep. um i she get to be a superhero in so many different forms and it's it's really cool to show young women that you can be a badass yeah. And, and don't take no for an answer and, right. and kick men's ass and, and just show them that you can be a champ of your life and uh, I'm doing it every single day so it's awesome yeah Chad you heard it right here I, I know the debate is going to start she just went and said Star Trek bigger than Star Wars 
I'm gonna hit it the big go no, live I didn't right say now. Star Trek bigger than Star Wars. I said it's one of the biggest. Star Wars is definitely the biggest. No, here's Ryu about to jump off. Hi, listen, Ryu. Ryu, Ryu moved over. He's like, uh, this guy's talking too loud for me. I'm over here trying to get my nap in. But all right, while you while you keep signing those items, I'm letting people know that we've got them in the buy it now. You're gonna see prints go up. We got some Black Series figures. Uh, we got Funko Pops and comics. A lot of items going up right here live from MegaCon Orlando. She is here. This is live, not pre-recorded. She mm -hmm. took the time. Her line is absolutely crazy out there. And she took the time to come out here and roll with us. So uh, season two, your appearance had people going crazy. What was the moment like for you when you get on set and you're ready to film your first episode? Uh, it was nerve wracking because just in the back of my head, I'm, I'm thinking about one second, right? You're about to jump off. Right, I'm thinking about my fans. I'm thinking about what are they going to think when yeah. um, they're going to first see this. Yeah. Bye, go have fun. Um, <laughs> he's about to do his autograph line. Right, he's about, right. He has to go really soon. If you didn't know, we got Ryu next doing he all has autographs live. So. and pictures. He's got everything coming up. Um, but it was just like, wow, this is um, my first ever really acting gig. And it's okay. Star Wars, The Mandalorian. So Right, no pressure. I felt, yeah, I felt all the pressure in the world. of like, just <laughs> please don't mess up. Yeah. Um, don't be the one that has to do... 100 retakes and you know just just be on your game and be yeah. professional and, and just know your your stuff and um that's what i did i just went in there knowing who i am because uh john Favreau. i'm like do i need to go get acting lessons what yeah, do i need yeah. to do how do i need to prepare he's like no way i just want you to be you to be just you bring you and that's what he saw in me when he first saw me on hot ones to um Yo. you know get me the role he just wanted me and i am um, that's the most special thing. I, I, and I totally understand. I could totally relate with just how the the best brand is the most authentic you. You know, you never want to sacrifice that. So right. going onto the screen from the ring, was there a transition where you kind of looked at somebody like, you know, Katie Sackhoff, who's been with the Star Wars franchise for so many years. Was there a moment where you're like, you're still learning from her and all the other castmates? Every single every time. moment. Every <laughs> single moment. Every single take. I learned so much from Katie. I was just so shocked about how many different times she did her dialogue and yeah. it was like pages and like words that you never even heard before and she would say it in so many different ways and do it from this side and this side and i'm just like oh he's, my god he's spinning she's he's spinning incredible she's so incredible but um, it shows it, you another level though it shows you such a level she's been doing this for over 25 years yeah. and it just shows you how good she is at her craft and how much she puts into her work she is on top of her yeah. game and i just think I'm telling you. This season, she's showing everybody exactly who she is. I'm she is that KT. Part. Oh, yes, baby. That's what I'm talking about. And I mean, talking, to, you know, no spoilers and everything. We don't want to talk too many spoilers no. here. But I mean, Katie's killing it. It's no secret. Are you keeping up with the Mando season three? Are we going to see you back in Mando? <laughs> I mean, you know, don't I, worry about the camera. We're just talking. It's I, me and I you. I need to catch up. I got to see the first two episodes yeah. um, at the premiere. Yeah. Um, but I'm waiting. I heard I'm waiting. That. I'm waiting. I. I think the next waiting couple for, episodes. Waiting for the gonna, call or waiting for the. No, I'm, I'm just okay. waiting for for it to all be complete so I can just binge watch it like just in one little you. thing. So I got um, you. I'm waiting. I hear and that. I've been really really busy so. I hear that. It's super important now that, uh, to point out again, everybody. We've got the auction and the buy it now is loaded up. We got items flying through through the buy it now. So if you want to get this at, listen, you couldn't make it to the con, you couldn't make it online. Don't worry about it. Whatnot's bringing the con to you all weekend long. Bookmark all of the upcoming, upcoming streams. You're going to get an opportunity to get your hands on some of these collectibles. So now we're talking about uh, the show stepping on and how it was such a big thing. Overall, when you look back at, at, your, at your contribution to the show, is there a moment that sticks out? Is there a core memory for you? Yeah, I think my fight scene with Boba oh, man. was such a core moment for me. Come because, on now. Um, I mean when it was finally time to shoot like an action scene that yeah. was like, I'm doing it, not yeah. my double. Yeah. Um, I'm like, this is my moment. They brought me in, they showed me what they wanted me to do. Love that. And they wanted me to do a headlock takeover, and I was just like... Really? Headlock takeover? Like, <laughs> you brought me in, I have right. many, many moves. Right. Um, so, I grabbed the guy, I, I ran up the wall, and I hit him with a tornado DDT, and John Favreau came out of the back, and he was like, that's it, that's what we're shooting day of, that's the move that I want. And that just made me feel so, so good. Yeah. And I remember shooting that, and they're like, do you want to go through the table? And I was like... I mean, I got, I got pay-per-views coming up. I'm right. not sure if I should be going through a table. Right. My double went through it the first time, and I was like, nah. oh, I got to go yeah. through this table. Like I went through it, and I was like, this is, uh, it. This is home. This, this is, is where I'm at right here. This is, this, this is me. I know how to do this stuff. So it felt so good. I was like, man, 
I think that you but really did fit in and, and make it natural. And I mean, you have such a big personality in the ring and you have a lot of that confidence in the ring. Was there a moment where you're developing this character's identity where you feel a responsibility to the viewers in the end? Um, yes and no. Okay. I mean, because this character is created by John and Dave. So yeah, yeah. they know everything about her right. and her background. So any questions I had, I just had to go to them. Yeah. But at the same time, I'm the first playing this character. You are, and that's it, exactly my point. it's forever going to be me. So yeah. I had to bring such an element of, um, you know, the boss that was in me and of turning course. it up into the Star Wars, um, the genre. Yeah. So I, I just wanted to make sure that she was someone that's so cool that young girls can look up to and being like, wait, she just saved right. a baby? She right. wasn't afraid, she didn't She didn't hesitate. Wait, she was didn't that turn a down DDT just Boba Fett. She's but just like, like that. So I just wanted to make sure she had that presence of a boss, and I think she does. I'm gonna go ahead and say that you did an amazing job, and it's definitely resonated with all the people Thank that watch the show. So, and uh, it's gotta be cool to see yourself as a Funko Pop on uh, comic books and everything like that. Does yes. the feeling ever get old? No, it's nah? it's still um, crazy. I mean, because I mean, my Funko. my dream my whole life was to be a professional wrestler. So, yeah. getting my first um, wrestling figure, I was like in shock. Yeah. But seeing my first ever Star Wars figure. It hits different. It hits it is so, so different. Different, and then talk not about just getting a bag. One, <laughs> Star Wars. Two, three, four of them. I'm like, I'm still shook. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, exactly. Talk about getting many, yeah. many bags. You know what I'm saying? You. It's one Thank thing you, John. to have, you know. <laughs> John, you know. Love you, John. When Funko called, they like, we got the Star Wars figure. You like, mm hmm, uh huh. Add a little <laughs> flair to it. But listen, I think that it's absolutely amazing to have you sitting here today with me. Where else but whatnot would we have the opportunity to bring the con home to you, to bring Mercedes over here to you. And listen, if there's something that you need for the collection, this is the spot to get it. More shows are happening all weekend long. We've got more shows on the road this year. Bookmark all of them. Follow the Whatnot channel, and we'll get a lot of other information and items to you. Now let's talk wrestling here. Of course, we're gonna move over to rest. You see, I'm getting all the signals in the back over there. We gotta talk about wrestling. <laughs> we gotta get this done. I mean, what an amazing career, right? Wrestle Kingdom, this massive match against Kyrie and San Jose. Talk yeah. to me about the match. How did you feel about it? How it was felt amazing. Yeah. Besides, like um, that little gremlin's finger yeah. trying to <laughs> snatch my wig off every second. She had you bald almost over there. I'm Bitch, telling you, my braids were slipping. <laughs> I felt my cornrows waving. I've never felt like such. Right breeze in my hair before it right. felt crazy it almost felt amazing i was like girl <laughs> um it felt so insane i mean that was my first match back yeah. after being gone for nine months that's the longest I've ever right. been away from wrestling um and it was just so nerve-wracking because i was just like am i still good right. am i still right. got right. it I, I had all these different feelings and i was just like you know what i can only do what i i know what to do right just be you and i'm like authentically you the you're yeah. the greatest of all time and i couldn't forget that and once i had that match and it was I over i was that. just like wow i remembered who i am what i want and yep. everything just came together and i won my iwgp women's championship Oof. Kyrie was absolutely amazing what an amazing partner to be in the ring at right. but for my first match back and now i have um sakura genesis coming up april 8th yes, against you do. acm and hazuki a three-way a triple threat double the challenge equals double the money hey. so i am ready i've been training yeah. um non-stop because these are young women yeah yeah acm yeah. is only 20 years old and has been training since she was 12 years old Azuki might be 21 years old, and I'm just like. But I mean, come on, you damn! The, you're the best. You just said. I know I you're am. You're the best. You know, I so I definitely got to break a couple ankles to slow them down because yeah, yeah. those girls are high speed. But uh, right. I'm really excited for you April should be. 8th. I can't wait to actually perform in Tokyo. Tell the fans what they can expect. Tell tell your competitors what they can expect. They already to see. know what to expect. <laughs> they can expect the whole damn bag. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they're gonna see so much money. Um, I'm I'm dropping things left and right. They don't know what to expect. Uh, AZM, an amazing, amazing competitor. Yep. Hazuki, two of the top best, but I am the greatest of all time. And they're gonna be brushed with greatness April 8th. Thank Is there you. even a next question? Is there even a question if this is going to be something to watch? Be sure to tune in. People want to tune in. How can they watch? How can uh, they support? NewJapanWorld.com. You can Look go there. Check out my Instagram, Look Twitter. I'll be posting the links where you can find where we to need watch all, it. We need all the links. Yes. We need all the links. Now, let's talk about your entrance. Yes. Let's talk about how much personality is in that entrance. Is it is it constantly evolving uh, as you become more of an entertainer? Um, 
yes. I mean, because this is brand new, I had to get a whole brand new theme song. Right. Um, just think so so differently, and I remember like going to my my cousins because right. my my family is in the music industry, Her. and it's not just Her. Snoop; it's it's many many people. Yeah. Um, Ray J too, right? We got Ray J, we got Daz, we got Corrupt, we got Rock Renato, we got Champ, we got everybody, and we got Mercedes Monet coming out too. Word, and I wrote okay. My own theme song, but it took me like two months to try to find the right, you know, just the right beat because I'm like, this is. Right. This is what people are going to hear for the first time, and it right. needs to connect. So I finally found the right beat, um, made my Wrestle Kingdom entrance, but yeah. I was like, the, the second half is still missing. I want to rap on it. So I called my cousin Rocco, and um, we, we rapped on it for um, Battle in the Valley. You got bars? And I'm still trying to like okay. perfect it even more so we can create a music video and post it with it and release the whole song right. together. But yeah, it's, it's crazy to be part of music and, and having it involved in wrestling because music is so important. It's the first thing that everybody hears. It's the first energy. It's gotta be. It's yeah. gotta be. Now, in your uh, as you're talking, I can really hear how there's a lot of uh, self-talk and empowerment of the self and understanding where you're at with a mindset. You win the belt. You go home. Nobody else is around. Mm -hmm. The glitz, the glamour, the lights are off. What's the feeling like? What do you say to yourself? Oh, what did I say to myself? Oh my goodness. I'm the best. You already know. <laughs> uh, yeah, pretty much. I right? went. Up, I went upstairs I mean, where all my accolades are, all my championships of yep. my other matches that I won. Um, yep. I went upstairs and I'm just like, another one. An another one. Another one. Did see it coming? God did. Another accomplishment that I can say I did. I was just like Mercedes. Yes. Another one. Because I am so resilient. I'm not going to take no for an answer. I'm not going to stop dreaming and making my dreams become into reality it's right. just like once you believe in something you have to go chase it we only have one lifetime yep. don't let it go to waste you heard it here that's the truth yeah and if that ain't the truth i don't know what else you're looking for now again just to let you know where else but whatnot we're sitting here with mercedes renato aka mercedes monet she's talking about wrestling her upcoming matches previous matches and how busy she is constantly on the road now you being there you being there on the road, you know, a lot of people are going to be looking for where to find you at. What, what's the next event? Convention scene, obviously they know New Japan is happening, but... Well, I'll be in Japan for the whole month of April. Okay. i got to defend this championship. Yes, you do. Um, because I am the New Japan, Japan champion. Oh. So I have to go there. i got to defend it for it. I guess it's my country now. <laughs> <laughs> you heard him. Taking all that yen over there. That making part. that dollar go up. Um, so that's number one. And then when I come back, I'm sure there's a lineup of yes. conventions yes. and appearances that I have coming up. But yeah. it's one day at a time for me. One day okay? at a time. Listen, I appreciate the time that you've given us so far. We're getting ready to do a quick sign off. But there's, a, there's over almost 300 people in the room waiting to talk to you here. What do you got to say to your fans? Thank you. I love my fans so much. I love the crew has been supporting me since day one. They follow me everywhere. Yes. They talk for me when I don't have to say nothing. They are the best in the world. And I appreciate you guys so much for being a part of my journey, part of my life, part of my chapter. We're going to be doing this for a very long time. Absolutely amazing. Thank you so much again. Usually I like to do a sign off for everybody. I'll say I'm Jay Stash and you'll say who you are. You ready to do this? Let's do it. Hey, yo, again, live from MegaCon Orlando, I'm Jay Stash. And I'm Mercedes Monday. You already know what it is. Thanks to everybody for tuning in. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.